Hello everyone. Well, I've had a hectic week doing unboxings and demonstrations. So I thought I would sit down and slow down the pace a bit and have a look through a few of these old Hoover leaflets and brochures dating from the 70s and early 80s. I hope you enjoy looking through them. So grab yourself a cup of coffee or tea or even a hot chocolate and a packet of your favourite biscuits and join me as we take a trip down some of Hoover's history. Well this first brochure is on Hoover Upright Cleaners and I actually remember picking this brochure up from a store. Yes I am that old but I was a child I hasten to add when I picked up this brochure and I read it from cover to cover several times. Um, back when I was a child we didn't have the internet so the only exposure I got to vacuum cleaners was actually going to shops and looking at them, picking up brochures or looking through my mother's mail order catalogue or excitedly looking at TV commercials of the time. So this is the first brochure. I got three of these brochures plus a witch magazine and some other instruction books from a seller on eBay and the gentleman, I won't give his name in case he doesn't want uh, it read out, but he sent me a nice letter here with the brochures. And I'll read it to you because it's very interesting. I think it is. Dear Roger, I rediscovered this collection of documents recently when sorting out my bookcase. Hope you find them interesting. The Hoover Junior instructions were from my mother's parents 119, which I remember them having when I was a child. I can remember being fascinated by the dust bag inflating and the sound of the famous beats as it sweeps agitator in action. All very different to my parents' rather unexciting Electrolux cylinder, but it started a lifelong interest in old vacuum cleaners and machinery. If I was well behaved, I was allowed to put the hoover round. I'm not quite sure why, but it was replaced by a newer 1338 and presumably the 1963 Witch magazine helped to make the choice. All very modern with its paper bags, but it didn't feel quite the same as the brown and gold 119 with its royal warrant on the cover. My other grandparents kept their even older junior 375, which my father remembered being demonstrated by a door-to-door -door salesman. It gave great service with some TLC by yours truly until my grandmother died decades later. The other advertising material was collected by me when I decided to buy my first vacuum in the late 1970s. I was the proud owner of a mustard yellow U1036 purchased from our local co-op. And this here is the U1036 and I do have one of these if uh, you've seen that video on my channel. There was a trade-in offer and a friend offered me a disused machine to save some money. Ironically, this turned out to be a very battered and unloved 119. I'm guessing from your username and your address that you're Roger from iBasic. Thank you very much for your YouTube videos, reviews, etc. All very interesting. I enjoyed your visits to your childhood haunts in East Grinstead. Going back somewhere that you once knew very well isn't always an easy experience. It can't have been easy. Any developments at your mother's new house, please take care and keep up the good work. I would say it was from David. So thank you, David. David's also been watching my other channel, Roger's Bits and Doings, where um, I w went back to East Grinstead, where probably I picked up a lot of these brochures from the local co-op or the electricity board, which was called Seaboard. So anyway, that's a very interesting little bit of history, a little bit of personal history from David there. It's always fascinating to hear. I know it's a mundane thing. If you're watching this though, you are interested in vacuums. Anyway, here's the front cover with a great big, we used to call these Dulux dogs, but I think it's a St. Bernard and uh, two very 70s looking. This is probably, knocking on after the mid 70s into the late 70s I'd say and a nice dark brown shag carpet or a deep pile carpet. So we'll open it out fully because it's a three page spread 
and looking at the first look at this oh it's absolutely wonderful I remember all these cleaners and have had I think I've had all of these cleaners I've had uh, this junior deluxe and this one I've had a convertible but not in that color it's blue and white the one I had I've had one of these I think I've still got one of those of course that's the U1036 and I did have this Hoover power drive fantastic machine I don't know why on earth I sold it but uh, that's known as the Dilematic, I believe in the US of A you can still get them I've almost thought about importing one that's been on sale on um, eBay USA there's a few they seem more plentiful that's model U6033 quite heavy but uh, quite in innovative really for the time although some of these cleaners were starting to look a bit old-fashioned compared to some of the Electrolux cleaners that were coming out but Hoover did try and modernize of course with the Junior Deluxe and the convertible but of course the Senior and Junior very popular cleaners they were starting to show their age so here in the middle we have the new Hoover Junior the new Junior model U1036 has the best pedigree any cleaner can have. More housewives zip through their housework with a Hoover Junior than with any other cleaner. Beats as it sweeps as it cleans action, top fill efficiency plus height control gets all carpets deep down clean. So a very, very popular vacuum cleaner, the Junior, and this was the latest attempt to modernize it with the U1036. I've still got one working and many collectors still have that model working picking up dirt as well as some modern cleaners and in some cases better than some modern cleaners let's just close that over and we've got uh, a bit more detail on this page just one picture here of the Ranger Senior model U4014 made famous by of course the Shake and Vac advert that's the exact one that green one was in the shaken back advert then we've got a little picture of the power drive there and also at the back that could be the power drive or the convertible showing the tools on the back and we have the yellow and black junior deluxe model u2068 shown there cleaning under low furniture and on the back page we turn that to, well it's not the back page yet actually We've got some more details here showing the Hoover cleaning action, the famous beats as it sweeps as it cleans action, where my channel gets its name. That's what my channel stands for. In case you don't know, my channel stands for it beats as it sweeps as it cleans. All Hoover upright cleaners have the exclusive beats as it sweeps as it cleans action that has made Hoover the world's most popular vacuum cleaner. It gently lifts your carpet on a cushion of air. The beta bars on the agitator lightly tap out the grit from the pile. All the dust, fluff and grit is sucked up and swept away, leaving your carpet deep down clean. And then underneath there we have a little diagram of the height control for different carpet heights and various cleaning tools that's showing more than one set of tools there it's uh, showing the pan converter that would have fitted the junior deluxe possibly in the junior or the junior it wouldn't have fitted both i think that's probably the junior pan converter and the other pan converter the longer one was for the ranger senior turning over onto the back page we've got uh, a couple of cylinder cleaners or as Hoover referred to them suction cleaners and I think I mentioned this or might not have mentioned it yet a video is coming up where I actually mention this cleaner the freedom with this power head I mean look at that that would be very rare I've never seen one it wouldn't have been a popular machine I don't think back in the day it would have possibly been quite expensive this model here the S4070 my mum had that particular freedom she didn't go for the S4090 Oof, with I'm not sure if this head the S8008 might have been an optional tool for this this one I think it possibly came separate because you had a power takeoff socket just at the top of the grill there and you'd have to clip the cable from the power head 
right along the tubes and right along the hose and plug in to the machine. It didn't have the power head built in like these early Sensortronics started having power head built into them. So the cable was actually in the hose. So under the Freedom Cleaners, a little bit of blurb, and then we've got a chappy on. Some of you younger people might not know what that is, but that's a telephone with a wire. That's what we used to contact people on, phone people up with a big dial. And it's telling you about the Hoover Authorised Service and Hoover Guarantee. And at the bottom, it's Hoover Limited, Perivale, Greenford, Middlesex. And good, we can date this brochure. We can date it to March 1979. So there you go. What a lovely brochure that is. So that's the first one on the Hoover Upright Cleaners. And now we might as well have a look at some Hoover Suction Cleaners. And a very attractive lady with a, again, this is dating me, but uh, I'll say it anyway, with a very Farrah Fawcett hairdo. Now, some of you might remember Friends, if you're not too young. A lot of uh, ladies, when Friends was popular, wanted to look like Rachel from Friends. They wanted the Rachel hairdo. Well, back in the day, back in the day a lot of women wanted the Farrah, 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 Farrah Fawcett hairdo with a flicks and this lady is carrying it off very well lovely lambswool brown jumper there and some very nice cream slacks and some sensible shoes for a change some of these ladies wore very high heels doing the vacuuming and uh, she is using that freedom we saw earlier but she hasn't uh, gone for the power head but she's probably got a lot of hard floors in this home and just a few rugs so that'll be fine I got this from eBay again. Uh, this is from a different seller to the uh, to David. It's got some writing on, but I'm not I'm not bothered about that. So again, this opens out to a three-page spread. I'm just get my fingers over there. So oh, another brochure. As soon as I saw this again, I thought, ah, oh, so nice to see it again and hold it. So we've got. A whole two pages here on the Freedom Cleaners, the uh, Freedom 1000 model S4090 and the 750 S4070. And the Freedom 1000 model S4190, that came with the powered nozzle. And you could also buy it separately, yes, it says here S8008, you could buy the power nozzle separately but it wouldn't have fitted the 750. That was very budget, but that is identical. That is the one my mum had with those tools, exactly that model she had. But uh, yes, shame she didn't go for the more deluxe. But she always really preferred upright cleaners, did my mum. So the, the freedom didn't really last. I think the bearings went on it. I don't know what happened to it. I think it got thrown away. Can you believe it? So there's the freedom with a thousand watt motor, which was pretty powerful back then obviously vacuum cleaners can't be a thousand watts anymore not not in the uk and eu countries so if we move along we've got some other cleaners here some more classics and i've got i've got all of them at least versions of them i've got the celebrity deluxe model sc001 you haven't seen it yet at the time of making this video but i do have this celebrity air ride s3005 here in fact little preview for you i've got one of those brand new in the box brand new so that's a nice video to look forward to again i've got constellation but not this color this is 867a i've got the blue and white one i've got a hooverette this is a later hooverette here my one, my blue Hooverette is much um, earlier than this, but they carried on the Hooverette for many years. This is model 2944B, and I've got this Dustette model 2614C. I've got the exact one in very good condition. So I'm not doing too bad with my Hoovers, my Hoover collection. And here I've got uh, several of these, including some, um, I think two of them were new in the box. In fact, one is quite, I've got the blue and, um, not the blue, the dark brown and the cream color version of this shampoo polisher, model F4002. 
and I've had it several years and I made an unboxing video but you've not seen it yet. So I have one of those unused and I've also got the later one which was white um, and uh, oh, it was all white, white and black. So this ran for many years uh, as did the polisher, not so popular. I don't think I ever saw the polisher in shots. Everyone seemed to have the shampoo polisher which didn't cost a lot more than the polisher but of course you had the option of being able to shampoo carpets. And this is before we had machines like the Vax type machine that came along in the 80s, the early 80s, the Vax first Vax tub came out. But this was the way people would clean their carpets with this or, or a Bissell perhaps, a Bissell that was manually operated and used to foam up detergent on the carpet and you'd vacuum it up when it was dry. And on the back page, just showing people if they decide they might want an upright cleaner after picking up the suction cleaner brochure we've got of course absolutely classic iconic hoover uprights here the junior deluxe in two colors the ranger senior and of course the junior u1036 and again a little bit more blurb about the authorized hoover service and again this is from 1979 the same date as the brochure I've just shown you. This is from March 1979. Moving on, we will show you a, a little brochure. Let's see if I can, well, it's more of a leaflet really. But again, it features the Junior U1036. This could again be from the same period, about 1979. Well, it's celebrating 70 years of Hoover. And now, of course, Hoover have been going for well over a hundred years. So this is just a small leaflet with a competition with 70 Hoover Juniors or double your money back to be won in this free competition. So if we open it up, we can see buy a Hoover upright between May the 1st and the 30th of June and, oh, I haven't opened it fully and win double your money back. And there's some pictures of various ladies dressed in their period costumes using different Hoover cleaners from different eras. Here's the oldest one here. I wonder if that was the pur purpose of the competition. You had to match up, possibly. I'll have to have a look what, how you had to uh, enter this. Let's see, Hoover cleaners have been the housewife's choice for over 70 years. And in that time, they have become a household name for all that's best in home cleaning. Sadly, not anymore. Illustrated on the following pages are six housewives using Hoover cleaners that have been introduced during these past 70 years, and many of them are still going strong. Each housewife is dressed in the fashion appropriate to the time which each cleaner was introduced. All you have to do is study the picture and place them in order of introduction. Ah, so let's play along, shall we, folks? Which here, shout out, which here is the earliest? Well, looking at it, I would say this one. This is a picture of one of the very first Hoover cleaners introduced in the United States, designed by Murray Spangler, I believe. So that's definitely, E is definitely the earliest one. And then I would say that A probably comes next. That looks like that's possibly the 1920s, 30s sort of time with that, what that lady's wearing. And next I would say, well, it's a toss up between these two, isn't it? I'd say this one is earlier. So D I think is next. That could be sort of from the 40s. Then I'll, I'll say that's F would be the next model. I've got one of those, haven't I? Pictured in F. Is that a 612? Following on from F, we have C. That looks like a 60s vacuum, a Hoover Senior, and the latest cleaner for the time this brochure, this leaflet was printed. There's a lady there. That's, she's using, by the looks, a Starlight, not a Junior Deluxe. So that looks like it's in the 70s. I think I'm right. So that's a nice little uh, brochure, isn't it? And then on the back, we've just got Insist on Hoover, a little bit about the Hoover Junior and rules. And your little entry form, you had to pop in the post to the Hoover Limited in Perivale, Greenford, Middlesex. Uh, let's have a look. We can date this because there should be a date on here that tells you 
when you have to send your entries by. I'm going to have to turn it round. I'm viewing this upside down, folks, to show you. Here we are. Entries must be received not later than first post, because we used to have more than one post, you know. No later than the first post on the 14th of July, 1979. So you're a bit late now. We can't win our money back or Hoover Jr. Never mind. Finally, we're moving on into the 80s only just. I say only just because this brochure is from 1980 featuring the high power compact and a very attractive lady. She's probably not quite so attractive now. I don't know how old she's probably at least in her mid 20s there. So uh, she's probably a mother, possibly even a grandmother. Isn't that spooky to think? <laughs> but she's uh, very well dressed for using her high power compact. Now, I show you a little bit of this brochure in a video coming up because recently I did actually get one of these. I've had them in the past, of course, but I've finally got another one. Very happy with it. So here we go. This is on Hoover Upright Cleaners. So this is 1980. There isn't a huge change, although we have got, we've got some familiar faces, but we've also got some new cleaners. Now you might be interested in this if you live in the US of A. I'll just open it out a bit more because this does open out, look. In fact, before we open it out, we'll read out the model numbers of the cleaners. So we have the concept one. Both of these of course are American very difficult to get hold of these in the uk now which is why mine are imported from the us of a but there would, be, would have been similar this is the concept one model u3101 that's the power drive version and then we have the u4201 which is the standard version again i had both of those this i had from brand new i when i moved to york i went to a, a department store the co-op department store one of the thir first things we did when we moved in and the electrical department was upstairs and you had to go up the escalator and at the top of the escalator there was a display of vacuum cleaners and if you imagine my excitement when I saw this now I moved to York in 1986 this would have been discontinued for a few years it wasn't that old because this brochure is from 1980 but it would have been unusual to see and I couldn't believe it and it was 58 pounds it was the only one they had no box I got the display model and why oh why did I get rid of it? I don't know, but I did. Anyway, c'est la vie. So here's the iPad Compact I've got now, model U2128. And the Junior, still got the U1036 model, but they've changed the colour to update it slightly. And then the Senior is still running, the U4014. And the Junior Deluxe just seems to be just in this colour. I'm not sure if they offered both colours at this stage. It's only showing the um, green and ivory that's model U2068. So under the flap, we can see a few of the features of the Hoover Upright Cleaners. The power edge cleaning. They were quite good at getting close to the edge. Of course, they left the line of shame in the middle, a lot of these cleaners. And then, of course, the beats as it sweeps as it cleans action. The height adjustment for different carpet pile. Cleaning under low furniture there. And then, of course, they're showing the choice of soft or hard bag because the high power compact was basically the junior with a hard dust box around the paper bag. A wrap around furniture guard to protect your furniture and the cleaner. Quick bag change with the uh, high power compact there. And colours to match today's lifestyle. <laughs> Hoover cleaners are designed to complement your home. Extensive research ensures the colours chosen are exactly what today's housewife would choose herself. In fact, they're too good to hide away in a cupboard. You can see that it's always housewife, wife, wife, women. There was no consideration that men would do the vacuuming back in the 80s, right into the 80s. Things started changing, I think. In the 80s, we started seeing men doing women's roles in TV adverts and on TV, on sitcoms and things. But predominant, predominantly, it was the lady of the house that used to do the vacuuming. It was often the man that paid for the vacuum, but he would never know where it was kept, let alone how to use it. On the back page here, we've got uh, another picture showing cleaning tools available. 
a little shot of a nice brown. Brown was very much in vogue. Brown colours there. And the cleaning tools fitting on the high power compact with a pan converter. Showing the various tool kits, the model numbers. And again, the same chap there. He's put down his phone. I think he's the same man. He looks very similar to the man from the last brochures. This one's from July 1980. And this, the strap line for Hoover was Hoover make things better for you back in the 1970s. So, and into the 80s. And then it became, I think the next strap line from Hoover was Hoover who better. I think they introduced that in 82, 83. And I would have said, there's no one better than Hoover back then. Now, it's a bit of a joke, Hoover who better, because there are plenty of, unfortunately, Hoover is not the company. We've still got the collectors, myself and other collectors who like to preserve vacuums from different eras, are helping to preserve the history of a once great company. But unfortunately, as most of us know now, they're not as great as they were. Certainly the cleaners they produce now, or at least put their name to, are not a patch on these lovely 70s and early 80s vacuums. I hope you've enjoyed looking through that. I've absolutely loved looking through these properly. I've had them a while, these, and didn't really get a chance to properly look. I still haven't read them fully, but even if I can't get all these cleaners, it's nice to be able to look at the pictures and reminisce at past times. Thanks a lot for watching. If you've got uh, any history, like David, when you first liked vacuum cleaners, what's the first vacuum memory you've got? What's the first vacuum you remember your mum owning? Comment below. And don't forget, tune in tomorrow, same time, same place, for another Advent video. Bye for now.